Say welcome to uh, Community Baptist Church for the word for the day reading for October 15th. My name is Brother Jim Kennedy. So what we'll do is we'll read the, the paragraphs they had for us for October 15th, and then we'll go back over and, and underline what we read or what came out to me that was important for me to read and what you can mark out what's important for you that learn from this reading. Okay, let's bow always in the word of prayer before we go in there. Father, just give us the wisdom and understanding that comes from you, Lord. Lord, we thank you for this day and we give you praise, honor, and glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, so here's the reading for Thursday, October 15th, Psalms 119-104. And it says, through my precepts, I get understanding. Therefore, I hate every false way. That was from the King James. They gave just a thought. Uh, through thy precepts, I get understanding. True understanding comes from your Bible. The understanding comes from God. It is a gift only he can give. That's why Solomon asked God for understanding. Instead of relying on his own, and God will restore understanding on you through his word. For the Lord gives wisdom, and out of his mouth comes knowledge and understanding. And that's uh, Proverbs 2 6. David said, Through thy precepts I, underst I get understanding. The Bible was written that we might have understanding and to be able to interpret life the way God does. Paul, who wrote much of the New Testament, told Timothy, consider that I say, and the Lord gives thee understanding in all things, 2 Titus, or 2 Timothy 2.7. As you immerse yourself in scripture, God speaks to you. In a sense, you say, this is how I see it. And this is how I want you to see it. In other words, he gives you his insight into the situation. In the Bible, you will discover how to become too, truly successful. When you find the answer to your financial trouble, how to cure worry, how to solve relationship problems, it will direct you in your family relationship. The chain of authority in the home includes a position of the husband, the wife, and the children. It contains the cure for nervousness and depression. It, even a purge tool for removing sin from your mind and life. Whatever show a young man plans his way by taking heed unto, un, uh, taking heed there, Two, according to the word, Psalms 119.9. In short, your Bible is great, uh, greatest success manual in the world. The psalmist said, the entrance of the word gives light. It gives understanding to the, unto the simple, verse 130. So, I, uh, so if you want truth, understanding, meditate on the scripture today. So that was your reading. So let's go to the underlying things that might stand out. First thing I seen was truth understanding comes uh, from God. True understanding comes from God. It is a gift only he can give. Remember that, that's important. And only God gives you true understanding. That's why Solomon asked God for understanding. God will restore understanding on you through his word. So as you read his word more, he'll give you understanding of how to live life. And it said, for, love, for the Lord gives wisdom, and out of his mouth comes knowledge and understanding. Okay, the Bible was written that we might have understanding and to be able to interpret life the way God does. So that's what God expects from us as we read the Bible and that's his ways. And if we obedient to that, uh, we'll be successful. 
okay? The Lord gives thee understanding in all things. In 2 Timothy, let's look at that, 2 Second Timothy 2.7. Let's see, New Testament, 2 Timothy 2, let's see, 2, two seven. Okay, it says two seven. Okay, let me see. Two seven it says, "Consider thy way, and the Lord give thee understanding in all things." So, uh, as you immerse yourself in Scripture, God speaks to you, and in a sense, He says, "This is how I see it, and this is how I want you to see it." In other words, He gives you His insight in the situation. So, you know, like sometimes you, in the morning, you would probably say, you know, I, you, you have a question, and sometimes you read maybe through this word or your other readings that, that God will speak to your heart. And, uh, he says, this is the way I would deal with that situation. So, uh, uh, and it comes through your word, and you know that's true. It hits you, you know, that's now I see it. So, in the Bible, you will discover how to become truly successful. And uh, so you can't go wrong when you do it God's way because uh, uh, he'll bless you. And uh, then it says, answer, uh, he'll answer to your finance trouble, how to carry a word, how to solve relationship problems. He will direct you in your family relationship, uh, the chain of authority in home and including in position of the husband, wife, and children. It contains a cure for nervousness depression, it even uh, purchase two for removing sin from your mind and life. That's some good news there, you know. And uh, we need help in all these areas, you know, when we come and uh, these things are trying to uh, uh, bring you down or uh, uh, like it says, uh, like it says, uh, I uh, don't do the wrong ways no more. Uh, so, uh, it learns the right path that which you, you should take, you know. And then it says, uh, your Bible is the greatest success manual in the world. So if you want to be successful, read your Bible and apply it to your life. And then the answers of, of your word gives life. It gives understanding unto the simple. So if you want a true understanding, meditate on the scripture today. So as you read these, uh, like a, I always learned that first you read it, get it in you. Second, you read it, meditate, uh, uh, like I, we did here, is cross off things and highlight. Then I would read it, uh, just meditate on those things, the highlights that you read. And then uh, I was thinking even for myself, uh, uh, like sometimes at, at night I'll say, what did I read in the break for the day? And I, I can't remember. So maybe at night before you go to bed, after prayer, read this again so you have this on your mind during the night and there. So get this, uh, and, you know, it's just uh, helpful to, uh, to help you. So uh, we thank you for this reading here. Thank you, God, for your reading of um, the word for the day today that uh, that we meditate on you and, and your precepts uh, that you will give us a successful life. We thank you and we praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.